Hey, hey Aquarius, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October 2024 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, you have life purpose. You will have new ideas and inspirations that will guide you towards your divine calling. Some of you have been receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of channeled messages. Your intuition is really speaking to you at this time, but it's important for you to slow down or get out in nature, ground yourself, maybe even get out of a busy mindset. I feel like sometimes we don't always hear the messages that come through because things are so fast paced. And I see here you being able to listen, okay? You're being able to listen and ask for what you need. Things are aligning for you to carry out a vision that you have for your future, for your career and your finances. Because what is meant for you, Aquarius, will not leave you as long as you continue to push forward here. And I see with the Five of Swords in your foundation, it hasn't always been easy. You've really had to struggle. There may have been people who have tried to sabotage your, your finances, your goals, your success. I do see it's caused a lot of tension, a lot of drama, but I feel like you're closing that chapter here. It wouldn't surprise me to see some tens or even a new beginning. Well, there's the justice. So we see some sort of balance being restored. That's what's coming in above you. This could even be a settlement for some of you that we're dealing with maybe human resources or if this does have to do with a legal situation, compensation I'm getting. Yeah, something that was difficult with the three of swords. This justice is putting something to rest. So whatever was showing up for you in the past, I also see for some of you this could be regarding property, a rental, a mortgage, Okay, even though these are career readings, we do talk about money, finances, and abundance. So for some of you, you may have been going through some sort of a, maybe a divorce or there was a settlement. Money was owed to you in some way, shape, or form. Now, I do see success. Success after a long, hard struggle for some of you Aquarians out there. Now, your first card out we have is student. Work with a mentor to learn new skills or to teach you how to implement your plans. For some of you, you may be reaching out and I see the King of Swords here as well. So you could be learning, taking classes that stimulate the mind, that stimulate the brain. You could be the, the teacher here where you are attracting uh, new students. I do feel like there's communication here between you and others. And the communication is going to be pivotal in the month of October for you, Aquarius. I also see you signing up for a class or there could be a certification here. You may be studying for an exam. You may be looking at laws, laws or rules. I'm getting like a rule book. This could be uh, a handout of some sort where the rules are listed. I just feel like you're trying to study the guidelines, the rules, or follow some sort of, yeah, guideline is what I'm picking up on. It's like you want to understand something better because knowledge is power. And by understanding it, it's actually going to open up new opportunities for you with the student. Some of you may work with children, perhaps you nanny or you are a kindergarten teacher. You could also work with the inner child as well. This could be your inner child or you help other people dive into their inner child. You could be in school to pursue higher education or work for a school district. Teach yourself to succeed with money or get a financial advisor to teach you. And we do have Justice and the King of Swords, which the King of Swords is someone who is 
an advisor. He can advise you. If you want answers, you go to that king of swords. And for some of you, you are training to be that king of swords. Someone who's very logical. They know the rules. They have, you know, they have the ability to bring some sort of justice to the mix. You see on the king of swords, there's the, the scales. And on the justice, there's the scales here as well. And this is also your energy here, Aquarius. So I feel like you're really bringing a new sense of balance to your life after a lot of chaos. I mean, I see it in your past. I see it in the foundation. You've gone through something that's been very hairy, very tricky, maybe very manipulative. I feel like some of you were taken advantage of. Maybe you weren't paid. You didn't get money that was owed to you. You may have sued. I feel like there could be lawsuits here. I mean, take it as it resonates. But whatever act of unfair just happened, uh, justice will be served here. And this it may not have just happened. This could have been an ongoing process. But I just feel like there's going to be uh, favorable news coming in because that's what your outcome looks like. We also have labor. Your hard work will be rewarded soon. Keep at it. So we're getting a double message here around not giving up. If justice is what you want or balance, if you want change, keep fighting for it. Because even though at times it feels like your voice isn't heard, even though at times it may feel like you're doing it for nothing, you're not. You may be in construction. You could even work in the office space where you run maybe a construction business, maybe maintenance, painting, or any other kind of laborious work or activities. Don't be afraid of hard work. What lasts won't come easy. Now, I also see you taking something that, <clears throat> excuse me, that you've learned and you applying it to some sort of technological advancement. I feel like you can teach others. Maybe, you know, you could teach construction or maybe you're going to school to learn more about you know how to build this could be building websites it doesn't have to just be physical labor even though that's what it entails here i actually feel like this is representing putting work into a situation learning what you can so you can have more opportunities here for your abundance now lastly we have takeoff things will take off much sooner than you expected now is a good time to take action. There's no stopping you now. You are, you know, you are moving forward. I feel like rushing things is not going to be beneficial. It reminds me of, you know, an exam. Let's say you have a big exam and you have, you know, you have a whole month to study for the exam, but you wait for the last, you know, the last day to cram a month's worth of stuff all into one. Even though that may be some of your ways of learning, some of you may learn best by waiting last minute, I feel like the majority of you, you know, learning little bits and pieces along the way and then taking that final day to really study everything you've learned. And I'm getting, don't be impulsive, don't put it off till the last minute, don't rush into things without that clear plan of where, you know, where you're headed or the knowledge. It's like you need the knowledge for this next piece. And that's why that King of Swords is showing up here. All right, let's dive into the tarot. You start off with the six of swords, but it is in reverse, which means change is brewing, but there's a hesitancy or there is a reluctancy here. Typically, when the six of swords is in reverse, it's because we're clinging to our old ways. We're clinging to our old fears. And because I actually see in the foundation where you've been, the five of swords, no wonder this is coming up around for you because you've dealt with this in the past and it scares you. Or there could be some fears that you've been conditioned to believe because of what you've gone through in the past. And that may cause a little bit of reluctancy, hesitancy, but you're ready for a new spiritual journey. I do feel like you're emotionally ready. I feel like your soul is guiding you. You're not alone. You have help here. I'm, I just heard angelic help and there's actually uh, angelic help in this deck as well. And I am getting that for you. So I feel like you've been asking the universe. You've been asking your guides, maybe a loved one in spirit to help guide you through some changes that are occurring. 
try your best not to default back into whatever's happened in the foundation. This is the time for a shift. This is the time for a change. Now, what's crossing your path is the Queen of Cups. It's very important at this time to focus on your needs. Give yourself that extra TLC that you may need or require at this time. Make sure that you're listening to the heart. You're taking care of yourself. When the Queen of Cups shows up, Sometimes she can be a people pleaser. Sometimes she puts everyone else's needs in front of her own. And that may be a piece that is, you know, blocking or prolonging some change from happening or occurring as well. I also get with this Queen of Cups in reverse or showing up as the, well, it's actually showing up as the opportunity here. There may be an opportunity for you to pursue some of your intuitive passions. Some of you are psychics, tarot readers. You may be in the caring profession. Maybe you're a Reiki practitioner, a healer. You may want to teach uh, about spirituality or teach about, you know, anything. It could be anything here for you because it's, it's something you're passionate about, whatever that may be. But it feels like you may have other responsibilities or you may be tending to other things that may not be your dream but someone else's or it just feels like you have responsibilities maybe you're raising children or maybe you're trying to save because you have to pay for your mortgage each, mo each month whatever it is here i do feel it's important also not to compare okay try not to compare yourself with anyone including you know the the version of you where you thought you would be at this point in your life. Sometimes we hit certain milestones or certain ages and we think, you know, I thought I would be further along than I am or I thought I would be married or I thought I'd have that job. I feel like comparing or getting into that comparison trap can really get in your head and it can create blockages. And I feel like you are, you are, embracing change here but try not to let the past emotional stuff hold you back here okay and that may be part of what the queen of cups is offering is saying here try to get in touch with your intuition more try to trust that the universe has your back and focus on you not taking you know things so personally sometimes we do we take every little thing personally and i feel like Yes, you've been wronged, but I also feel like you don't have to let the past define you in a negative way. Bottom here, foundation, you do have the five of swords. It's in reverse, which means this is a compromise. Victory through dominance or control, but it comes at a cost. Now, five of swords is someone taking advantage. It can be selfishness, it can be manipulation, deceit, resentment. You may have had to walk away or you were forced to leave a situation. And I feel like no one came out necessarily on top. Even if it felt like this person got ahead or it may have felt like they're doing better, there's that comparison trap. I feel like it wasn't really a win, okay? It wasn't really a win. It may have looked that way on the surface or in the material, but internally, I just don't feel like it brought that emotional satisfaction that one had hoped it would. When we are in the Five of Swords, that's never gonna bring anyone satisfaction. Not when we are creating and manifesting from those lower frequencies, of, you know, manipulation, greed, rage, jealousy, anger, all of those things. Uh, you see this guy, he is, you know, going to war. He is ready for war. And I just see that if this is you, if you felt very angered, I feel like you're turning that anger, you're channeling that anger into something healthier. Because remember, energy can neither be created nor destroyed, it's transmuted. So instead of allowing this energy to destroy you, you're gonna use it to create and to maybe help others. Now in the past, you do have the nine of swords. It's in reverse, which is good because it means that there's light at the end of the tunnel. This is accepting some sort of past trauma, 
right? This is about you being able to move towards freedom because you're stepping outside of your comfort zone. You're taking risks here. And that may have been very difficult for you to do because I feel like you've taken a risk before, but it may have felt like it backfired or you may have felt like you trusted the wrong person or the wrong company or even yourself, right? You may have made a choice and you thought that, you know, this is what my intuition wants. This is what I'm supposed to go for. And then boom, it's like some sort of disappointment or heartache occurred from it. And therefore you had built in this belief that you couldn't trust yourself. And that is not the truth. That's not the truth here. That's a lie that we tell ourselves. Uh, sometimes we are meant to go through situations to evolve, to grow, and to transform. And it's through some of the most challenging times that can be the biggest catalyst towards our success, right? Uh, and you have the justice coming in, which the majority of majority of October is. Libran energy, Libran season, and this is the justice card, which is the major arcana for Libra. So I do feel like there's going to be fair judgments here. This is what you're bringing in. This is what's above you. This is the potential. But I feel with your outcome, this is potential that is going to reach reality. It's not just a hope. It's not just, you know, a pipe dream or something that you've really been wishing for. I actually feel with the outcome, there's going to be a new opportunity that arrives from this. Now, we don't always see karma at play, nor do we need to. Sometimes we feel like we need to to gain closure. Sometimes we feel like if we if we see it, you know, playing out, then we'll be able to close that chapter. This could be personal karmic justice right? Personal karmic balance where you may have not seen how this has played out for a company, organization, individual, whatever energy you had gone through that really disappointed you. But I actually feel like you're coming out on top, even though it's been painful or disappointing. I say that because we do have the three of swords and this is in the future position of recovering, recovering from some sort of rejection recovering from, you know, that pain that had caused you to close off and that caused you to not trust, trust in yourself. You're opening your heart up is what I'm seeing here with three of swords in reverse. Yeah, you're opening your heart up again. And that may have been difficult because you may have been working in a career where there wasn't a lot of passion, right? It was just paying the bills. Maybe you felt like you were ostracized or alienated from a group, from a community. It almost feels like a mean girls club or mean boys club where it feels like there's three people over here snickering and talking gossip and you know, you're over here just trying to do your work and it just doesn't feel good. I mean, it doesn't have to be people. It can be just the overall energy of a situation you are in, but I just feel like you're, you're not wanting to be a part of that. That's not what you stand for. And if this is, if this is not happening physically right here, right now, or if it hasn't happened, you know, for you regarding other people, this could be stuff from childhood where you're getting re-triggered or there's some old wounds coming up around you know, abandonment or not getting picked, right? For gym class and they have everybody stand in line. I don't know if they still do this, but where everyone's standing in line and, you know, they're picking teams going back and forth and you're just hoping your name gets called, right? And I feel like there is a little bit of that fear of being last or not being called on, not being picked, being abandoned, rejected. And that could be something you really struggled with. And it may have been blocking your access to success in some way, shape or form. Maybe there was fear of failure. If I do get picked on and I go out there and I play kickball and the ball comes at me and I fall on my back, right? What if they all laugh? What if I'm a failure? So I feel like there's been a situation either very early on or it's happened in the workforce, the workplace or, you know, wherever, but you are really coming to terms with the situation and you're not letting it define you. If anything, you are transmuting that energy into helping others helping others in some way, shape, or form. Now, how are you feeling? 
you're feeling like you are rising to the top. You're feeling like this is really going to take off after disappointment or setback or delays. Now, I love the six of wands because this is a glorious win. And it is glorious because some of you, you're showing those people, right? Those people that, you know, didn't pick you to be on their team in some way, shape or form. Now, it's not necessarily about showing everyone up, but I feel like it it feels good. There's some sort of feel good about rising to the top because you didn't give up on yourself even when other people didn't believe in you, right? You didn't give up on your dream even when other people may have told you you couldn't do it or, you know, you wouldn't be good enough in some way, shape, or form. But here you are doing it, Aquarius. And I feel like it reminds me of uh, who is it? Taylor Swift, I believe it is. She sings a song about uh, the mean girls, I believe. And it says, you know, look at me now. I don't know the lyrics, but uh, it's it's like, look at me now. Um, rising to fame. This can be a card of fame as well. Some of you, you could get that promotion or you get that advancement or you you are doing better than you were. And I feel like the comeback here, one of my favorite fra phrases is the comeback is stronger than the setback because there has been a fall from grace. There has been some sort of quote unquote failure, which I don't love that word. I rarely ever use it, but I look at failure as opportunity or growth. So there's been an opportunity to grow basically. And boy, oh boy, grow you did. And Six of Wands says you're coming up on top and there is a lot of recognition here. Okay, this is accomplishment. It's victory. It's success. It is rewards for your hard work because for so long you may have felt overlooked, alienated, unrecognizable even. I feel like right now you may be unrecognizable to some. They may be saying, Aquarius, is that you? Right, is that you? And I feel like you've changed your energy so much from this old piece of you, this old wounded piece of you, that you're now feeling like you can conquer anything. And I'm so proud of you because that's the truth, right? You really can overcome any obstacle. And this is part of your purpose. Some of you are turning pain into gain. Now, you're a fighter. You're a warrior. Seven of Wands is in the environment. This is an all-in mentality. You look at this fighter here and it reminds me of, you know, Olympians, you know, how they train and how there is, yes, competition, but I feel like there's a need to do something for oneself. Yes, you get to kind of show up for all those people that kind of said you couldn't do it, right? But there's a, a insatiable hunger within you that's doing it for you. And I feel like you are proud of you here. So it's about you patting yourself on the back and feeling that sense of emotional, physical fulfillment that maybe you thought by, you know, by getting it externally, that was going to fulfill you, but it's not, it's really you doing it for yourself. And you have this attitude of win-win right? If I can go through that, I can get through anything. This is about you standing up for your beliefs, bravery, protection. It's about meeting a challenge in the eye and giving it a big old wink. And I feel like you have the upper hand in a situation and you've also uh, risen above. You go from that six of wands to the seven of wands. So whatever this victory is, it actually motivates you to keep going. Whatever this win is, because there is going to be some sort of a win. Maybe it's not the mother of all wins, not yet anyway, but this is that splash of, you know, pizzazz, that fire, that inspiration that you needed Aquarius to really kick it up a notch. And I feel like you are doing just that. Now, King of Swords showing up here in your hopes and fears. This is ethics. Some of you may even be taking classes on, I'm getting like, police academy, okay? Or some of you, there's some sort of academy. Maybe you're learning about some laws, 
some specific laws in your area. This could also be taxes. Maybe you're learning about taxes or S corps. You could be working with a brokerage. I am getting real estate, even though that's typically King of Pentacles. I do see that there's a brokerage here uh, or maybe even something financial that does flow into legal documentation. I also see for some of you, you've been disappointed that you didn't receive the, the green light. And it feels like every time you applied for something or every time you tried to take this exam or you wanted to enroll in this class or this program, it almost feels like there was a stop or a block. Maybe it was already enrolled. Maybe you were rejected. Maybe, you know, the visa was denied. Whatever it is here, I'm getting, you know, that there's some sort of balance coming in here after so many letdowns, I mean, there's success and you feel really good about it because I feel like you may have started to give up a little bit of hope, but here it is. Now the outcome Aquarius is the page of coins. There's some sort of message coming in here that opens a whole doorway, a whole you know, new opportunity in the physical world. For some of you, there could be a job offer that involves relocating. This could involve travel. It could be a business idea that really takes off. I mean, look at those hot air balloons. The page of coins, he invests in himself. He's a, a little self investor, right? Whatever he wants to learn, whatever he, you know, sets out to accomplish, he follows through and he chases those dreams. And he is someone who is going to find out what he needs to find out right? He's going to make the calls. He's going to do the research. He's going to be curious and open. He's going to look into, you know, financial aid or loans or what documentation he needs in order to take off. And that was one of your key themes here. Because I see you taking action, there is no stopping you. That's why you're moving so quickly from the six of wands success to the seven of wands all in. And I feel like there could be there could be a message regarding, you know, a new job, a financial win, some sort of investment, something you've invested in. There could even be a large check that is, uh, that is given. This could be, a, you know, a financial win of some sort. Uh, Page of Pentacles can also be like rebates, refunds, settlements, things of that nature. So this does look really good. The Page of Coins is showing up in the upright and this is someone who is very hardworking, someone who's ready to go learn some new skills, maybe train, uh, someone who has some goals and they're ready to go tackle them. I know a lot of the pages get bad raps of being immature or, you know, bratty, but when it comes to career and we're in our 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s, right, I feel like this I don't want to say it doesn't apply because we can, you know, we can still find some adults that are very immature, but the way I read these is opportunities for a, a new growth, opportunities to invest in new things. So I absolutely feel like there's a blend of some sort of communication messages or news mixed in with all of that hard work that you've done. You're investing in a new skill, a new talent, a new course or class, and you're ready. And that's, it goes hand in hand with the student. And I feel like we are always oscillating between the student and the teacher. We never get to that student phase and then we say, oh, I'm good. I've learned everything. No, we're constantly needing to learn new things. That's what keeps us feeling fresh and, you know, young. So I feel like you recognize an opportunity and you are going to go for it, Aquarius. So good for you. Let's get a message from the wisdom of the Oracle. What do we have here, please? For career, finances, money. You have round and round, round and round. So card 25, some of you may be born on the 25th. You may be a life path seven or in a personal year seven. This is the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite learned. This is a cycle that you may be challenged to break. And that's what I see. You have that opportunity, that potential with the justice. And because your outcome is, you know, the page of pentacles, I feel like you are going to break this cycle. 
This is possibly a karmic cycle for some of you. Something that has been very, very challenging going round and round in this circle. Revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. And the prosperity message for you, Aquarius, is this. If you're in a scenario that appears to be an echo of something that's already happened in the past in your work life, it's because you're being invited to see what you couldn't see before. This is a perfect time for you to look at the deeper motives you have and your attraction to the opportunities and people who have entered your life to be part of your journey towards prosperity. Who helps you navigate? Who sabotages you? Who supports you? What are the familiar signs and your responses to them? When you find yourself in a repeat of a pattern of the past, it's a good time to get a coach or mentor who can help you see what you cannot on your own. Repeat what works, not what doesn't. Then you will free yourself from the old cycles and cease going round and round. Yes. That makes perfect sense with the justice and, you know, the five of swords, the nine of swords. Because we have the queen of cups as the growth opportunity, I'm going to read the protection message because we talked about responsibilities and maybe people pleasing. So some of you may resonate with the protection message here. Are you refusing to see your own personal responsibilities for repeating lessons that you don't need to relearn? You have to surrender now to the fact that you may be the common denominator in all of these repeat performances. Be happy, for now is, the wonder, is a wonderful spot to be in. You can now see the cycles that you wish to exit. Once you figure that out, you have the power to stop going round and round. You possess the key to your freedom. Be good to yourself. It's not about blame, but about accountability. You can have the abundant life filled with love and prosperity that spirit so wants for you. And that's a big, uh, big message because sometimes we are that common denominator. It, sometimes it's a fear or a belief based on something we've been conditioned to believe. And I do see here, luckily with that six of swords, you have an opportunity to exit right? It's like you're driving on the highway and you're, you're ready to, you know, stop at the, the rest area, the rest stop, a gas station to refuel, and there's an exit coming up and you may decide to take that exit. And I feel like by doing so, it's going to give you a brand new perspective, a, a fresh point of view here. Because some of you, your default may be to turn back around and head into this five of swords where you've been before. And I see you have the opportunity to break out of that cycle. And you're gonna. Okay, let's get a few messages here from your animal spirits. And at this time, if you can safely do so, Aquarius, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from your solar plexus chakra, your belly area. Nice big deep breath in. Hold it as long as you can. And release through the mouth with a nice big sigh. And with your eyes still closed, please tune into your third eye chakra. The area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps your animals are wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. This could be a pet that's crossed over the rainbow bridge. One that you currently have at your home or by your side as you're listening to this reading. It could be a pet that's crossed your path recently in the great outdoors. There is no right or wrong answer, Aquarius. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. 
And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your animals in the comment section below. And I personally will enter you into that free reading giveaway. So please make sure you've hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. All right, beautiful. We have Coyote Spirit, Trust in Divine Detours. Trust that that exit you are meant to get off on, to, to regroup, to refresh, to give yourself a new perspective. Take that pit stop if need be, okay? It's card 16. 16 is the tower. I feel like a lot of you, there's been a major breakthrough. This is about destroying old structures and not resisting the, the path that you are meant to be on. Some of you may be born on the 16th or even the 15th. You may be 37 years old or 57. Those could be significant numbers. We have squirrel. I love the squirrel here. He reminds you to believe in yourself. Even if you're feeling a bit nutty sometimes, believe in yourself, Aquarius, because that makes all the difference in the world. Believe in yourself. Some of you may have seen recently an albino or a white squirrel. Okay, if that's you, drop it in the comment section. I love to hear that. You have card 37, lion spirit. Lion, be generous. Be generous of spirit. Spirit is guiding you, helping you stand in your courage, helping you remain determined. When the strength energy shows up here, this is all about overcoming difficulty facing those fears and having the self-control that you need to not doubt yourself, not, not uh, put yourself back in that spiral quality, right? Or that pattern when you have learned what you've needed to learn. You don't need to keep going back. And last but not least, you have the cow. The cow reminds us that the miracles are endless, when we are searching for miracles, when we expect miracles, we find them, right? And I feel like you are opening yourself up to receiving more abundance than you've ever felt, okay? The cow, when the cow spirit animal comes in, this is so many different resources. It's not just financial in the forms of money, right? If we look around, if we look at the abundance all around and be open to receiving it, you're going to find it everywhere because it is all around you. It's within you. Beautiful reminder here. Now, last but not least, let's get some final messages from your spiritual team, your guides, your loved ones and spirit ancestors. What do we have here? That's way too many. Let's just get a couple. What do we have here for Aquarius, please? I feel like they have a lot of messages for you, but let's take the, the two at the bottom. You are a big deal. You are a big deal. How can you step fully into your divine power? We often do not give ourselves the credit we deserve. You are amazing. You are a big deal. I want you to stop right now. And for those of you that are like, Mel, that sounds conceited. That sounds a little arrogant, you know, or, or am I really, I don't feel like I'm a big deal. I want you to stop that right there because that is you shooing away a compliment. It may feel like you're not a big deal, but you are. And for those of you that immediately felt like, eh, I don't know about that. That could be part of a block that you have at times, you know, if you happen to notice yourself chalking off compliments or if you don't feel like you are enough, but you are. Walk into the room and fully own it. We have healthy egos for a reason. We also have wounded egos. We have inflated egos, but we can very much have a healthy ego and there's nothing arrogant or conceited about that, right? You have skills, you have talents, you have, you know, a beautiful gift. You are your own authentic self and it's important to own it. Walk into the room and fully own it on this day. How can you make this day yours? Start telling yourself that you're a big deal because you are. And lastly, we have self-care. Self-care is not selfish. We cannot pour from an empty cup. This is a reminder also from the Queen of Cups as the opportunity. 
Fill your soul cup up and everyone around you will benefit, including yourself, most importantly yourself. Do one thing today, Aquarius, that will fill up your soul cup. Take a bath, journal, eat a healthy meal, get a massage, do some yoga, put on your favorite song, love on you today. Your mantra, my needs matter. I honor myself. Yes, they do. I'm just going to get one more, one more shuffle from this deck because a lot of messages wanted to come out for you. But let's get one more here before we wind down your reading. Last message. <laughs> this is why. This is why we were meant to put those cards back and pull this one because your final message is receive. And we just went on a whole spiel about receiving, right? Are you able to receive compliments? Are you able to receive, you know, owning your power? Remember, you're a big deal here. Are you able to receive compliments, money, or support? If we are only giving without receiving, we become resentful. Today, I receive with an open heart. Receiving is not greedy or selfish. Some of you, that is a belief that has held you back. Why? Because you've dealt with greedy. You've dealt with selfish. And some of you, you know, you feel like I'm just going to do it on my own or I'm just going to, you know, work hard to get to where I want and not let anybody buddy help me along the way. I feel like you're meant to open yourself up and take a look at that belief. I challenge you, Aquarius, I challenge you to look at that from a different perspective instead of saying, you know, that you, you can't receive or, you know, you have to constantly be the giver. What if you open your heart? It's not selfish. It's not greedy. It is part of stepping into your divine feminine or divine masculine energy. Pay attention to how you receive. Receive with an open and gracious heart. Your mantra for the entire month of October, each and every single day, I can guarantee if you start making this a, a priority for yourself, you're going to see big changes in your outer world. I am open to receiving abundance. I want you to say it right now if you're able to. Say it out loud. I am open to receiving abundance and I want you to really believe it. Say it out loud just like this nutty squirrel. Even if you're in the grocery store, even if you're in your car right now, wherever you're at listening to this, say it out loud. Have your dog or your cat look at you weird. It's okay. Believe in yourself. You're open to receiving abundance and I hope you are because you're manifesting it, Aquarius. That is what I have for you, beautiful souls. If you like the reading, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. Please drop your power animals in the comment section below. And thank you so very much, Soul Tribe, for tuning in today. Lots of love.